Once upon a time, in the rich and vibrant land of ancient India, a young prince was returning from his studies in a faraway kingdom. As he and his servants traveled through a thick forest, they decided to rest by an isolated pond. The water quenched their thirst, promising refreshment after the punishing journey through the deserts. However, beside the pond sat a gorgeous girl, tears streaming down her face. The girl had long, beautiful hair, and her face and body were so tempting that even the disciplined men found it hard to resist. Feeling compassion for the girl, the prince approached her. Why do you weep, fair maiden? He asked gently. Through her tears, the girl told him her story. I am a princess from China. My kingdom was invaded, my family slaughtered, and I was forced to flee for my life. Moved by her plight and seduced by her beauty, the prince offered her protection and took her to the palace. They were soon married, and for a time, they enjoyed each other's company. They spent their days together and embraced the warmth of each other at night. However, the prince noticed an odd habit of his wife. She never ate food with salt. As days turned into weeks, the prince began to weaken and felt his energy draining day by day. None of the palace doctors could determine the cause of his sickness. Desperate, the prince's vizier called upon a wise sage who, after listening to the prince's symptoms, declared, Your wife is a noggin, a half-woman, half-snake creature. She is slowly draining your life force. Blinded by love, the prince couldn't accept that his beloved wife could be such a vile creature. However, doubt got the better of him. One damn night, unable to sleep, he saw his wife rise slowly from their bed. Remembering the sage's words, he followed her quietly through the forest. From his hiding place behind a tree, he watched in horror as his wife approached the pond where they had first met. In the moonlight, he saw her transform into a noggin, a majestic and terrifying half-woman, half-snake being who began to drink from the pond. Scared out of his wits, the prince rushed back to the palace and pretended to be asleep until she returned. The next day, he sought the wise sage once more to rid himself of this vile creature at his side. The sage advised, the only way to save yourself is to destroy her by fire. She may love you, or you may be just another victim, but her true nature is killing you. With a heavy heart, the prince devised a plan. He asked his wife to bake some bread for him. As she bent to place the bread in the oven, he summoned all his strength and shoved her inside, closing the door quickly. She cried for help, scratching at the oven door while her beloved stood there, waiting for her to turn to ashes. The prince, too, wept as her screams filled the air, mingling with the crackling of her bones in the flame. When she was completely turned to ash, the wise sage arrived. He opened the oven, revealing only a glowing white stone amidst the ashes. He handed the stone to the prince, saying, This is her heart, all that remains of her. Consumed by grief and love, the prince took the stone to the river behind the palace. He hurled the stone into the river. Overwhelmed by sorrow and a broken heart, he collapsed on the riverbank and died. Ultimately, he became one with his beloved noggin in death as in life. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to get more content like this.